The landscapes of Luxullian Valley and Charlestown are very different. However, they share important similarities. Both are stunningly beautiful places with fantastic walks and rich mining histories to explore. The iconic harbour at Charlestown took 10 years to build and was completed in 1801. Charles Rashley was a local industrial entrepreneur whose name pops up everywhere around here. The place was all about shipping out china clay and copper ore. Now it brings in visitors. Listen to the audio trail and take a walk along the harbour. It's like stepping back in time to the days of the mining boom in Cornwall. Will Martin China Clay Country Park gives a fascinating insight into Cornwall's important billion pound China clay mining industry. See how they did it. See how they still do it by looking down into a real working China clay pit. And plenty of other activities to entertain the family. Here you will also see Cornwall's largest working water wheel at 35 foot in diameter. And but a stone's throw away there is all this. Explore it from Ponce Mill on the circular walk along the Park Canal. It only takes an hour and a half. And on your travels look up to the colossal Trafry Viaduct, hanging rather scarily a hundred feet above your head. It's been there for 170 years now and looks set for another few hundred. Named after Joseph Trafry, like Charles Rashley, He's responsible for much of what you will discover here. And finally, why not end your visit to this magical hidden gem with a wander around the delightful Prideaux Woods, a quarter of which is ancient woodland that was here long before the miners came and hopefully will be here long into the future. Be enchanted by the springs and streams, wildflowers, birds and winding paths. Luxullian Valley and Charlestown, beautiful wooded valleys accompanied by the sounds and smells of an iconic harbour.